Welcome back. Welcome back once again to your number one source for information, education, and inspiration. You should get a license, the podcast. This is Rod Powell coming to you live and direct with, you know, a, a, a fair sister, a fair <laughs> sister. I mean, we... I mean, not only a fair sister, but also a beauty queen as well. And I'm, I'm not like exaggerating, like a legit beauty queen, you know, former Miss Liberia USA, but just an, an, uh, an intelligent and powerful professional, you know, in our industry, in our space, you know, started, you know, almost about 10 years ago now, um, really, you know, started on a, on a track, you know, working with organizations, building up, holding different positions from customer service to account managing, doing some cold calling really kind of grinding and, and, and scraping and then branching out to starting her own firm and actually joining us today, celebrating the three-year anniversary of her firm. Please, <laughs> yes, yes, give it up for Miss Patience Magwe Noah of Patience Noah Insurance, all the way from Massachusetts. Patience, thank you for being here today. Thank you so much for having me, Rod. I really appreciate you. And thank you for choosing me to be on this podcast. I'm so honored that you chose me to be here today. And I'm very excited to share my journey with everyone. Hey, hey look, you know, whenever we, you know, are looking at, you know, people who we want to, to feature on this platform and speak to, you know, we, we look for people that, one, you know, have really kind of been through the ropes in this business, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, you got your 10 year veteran, you know, at this point, uh, we also look for people who have proven track records of success, you know, which you have, and uh, individuals who can encourage and inspire others. And uh, for anyone who's, you know, looked at any of your not only looked at, you know, your, your, your social media and your platforms, but also is familiar with your work in the community, you know, the yeah. boards that you serve on, you know, the community initiatives that you do, you know, up in Massachusetts, you know, they're going to know that you're someone who definitely inspires as well. So thank you for being on this platform, you know, to share because, man, there's a lot of people who are going to benefit from this conversation. Now, before we before we jump in, um, this platform is, is when we're having conversations, usually there's a lot of different market segments, you know, okay. in this space. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I know you run a, a full service firm um, up in, in, in Framington. Massachusetts, right? Framingham, Framingham. Framingham. Yeah. If you can't tell, I'm not a New England person. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but um, in Framingham, Massachusetts. So, so can you tell us a little bit about you know your business, uh, your agency, what you guys specialize in, and what you do on a day to day basis? Yeah, so so we um we're located in Framingham, Massachusetts, and we've been open for three years now. It's been uh, an interesting journey. <laughs> it's been an interesting journey, but I would definitely say it's been rewarding for the most part. Um, so we are, although we are full service, we do focus on commercial lines, and mm -hmm. the reason why. I chose for us to focus on commercial line is I find it is a lot easier for you to round off accounts when you're working with commercial lines customers, right? Um, once you help a commercial customer, you know, find general liability, commercial auto, whatever it is that they are looking for, it's easy for them to say, hey, I do other insurance. Would you mind if I help you with your auto or your home insurance? So for me, once I saw that, and I saw that it was easier to deal with commercial clients, in my opinion, at least for me, I was like, hey, we might as well have this agency focus on commercial and everything else could just be an added on service um, for what, as what we offer in the agency. So we are commercial lines um, based. Um, so right now we're mostly small to mid-sized commercial. Maybe, you know, as we grow, we will go after those bigger accounts. But for now, we're small to mid-sized. And I think we're doing pretty well. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, look, no, no, that's awesome. And, and uh, OK, now I want to I want to go back and kind of, you know, dissect this a, a little bit because um, there's, there's a lot of insurance lingo in there. Right. The yeah. commercial, commercial line. <laughs> you just did. You just did a video on insurance lingo. Commercial lines. Yeah. Rounded coverage, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when, when 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 people are thinking about when people are thinking about in, in, insurance, they're like, oh yeah, you know, my my homeowners, you know, my my auto, sometimes yeah. life insurance or your health insurance. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about commercial lines. Like, what is what does that mean 
Yeah. You know, to- <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks for catching that. I didn't even catch on that I was, you know, speaking in insurance language. But for those of you who don't know what Commercial Alliance is, what it is is um, general liability, professional liability, workers' compensation, commercial auto. Um, anyone who needs surety bonds, and if somebody needs cargo, motor cargo. So basically anything anybody needs to run a business um, Mm. in terms of insurance, commercial property, um, directors and officers insurance, crime insurance, you name it. That's what falls into the bucket of commercial lines. (laughs) Absolutely. And you said, hey, you know, we have the opportunity to round Round coverage. What is what is rounding coverage? Like once you alluded, alluded to it a bit though. Yeah. So when I say rounding coverage, instead of just getting one policy from you, right? By the time I'm done with your account, I probably have three policies from you. So if somebody comes to me, they tell me, oh, I want general liability. Depending on the industry or the type of business that they have, I could recommend, hey, you should have professional liability. Or, hey, you should have cyber insurance. Or, hey, you should have um, employment liability. So by the time I'm done with your account, I have three different policies in one. Or I can suggest, hey, since we've already helped you with your business insurance, can we take a look at your auto insurance or your home insurance? We also offer life insurance as well. So for me, that's what I say. <laughs> so basically, instead of me having you just walk with one insurance, I just make sure that I have everything under the agency. Um, so it's easy for you to deal with um, with in your insurance bills. So um, you, yeah, you, you make sure like that that every risk you know is is covered. Exactly. You know, exactly. Every everywhere you look, hey, the general liability, the pressure, professional liability. We're gonna take listen, your inland marine, we got we got you exactly all, all the all the way. So exactly. Um what what was it that when you started, you know, in this in this industry, were you thinking commercial initially, or what was your general perception of, of the insurance industry? Um, good question. So when I started in the industry, I wasn't even thinking about commercial because when I initially got licensed. My experience was mostly in auto insurance and home insurance. Mm. So I didn't really have a background um, in commercial lines. Although I worked at a commercial lines agency for about a year and a half, I sort of had an experience, but they dealt with like um, um, oil companies. So I didn't really do much with them because these were bigger accounts. So I was just servicing the accounts. But once I opened my agency, what happened was my first business customer, she happened to be a home health care um, agency owner. So when I was dealing with her, I was like, hey, can you introduce me to the lady who helped you um, open your business? Mm-hmm. And she introduced me to her and she ended up introducing me to someone else. So, so how it happened. (laughs) So I basically ended up being, um, establishing a relationship with these folks that help people open businesses. So they were sending them to me once they created their EIN number, their federal identification number, they would say, go to patients. She knows what to do. And the client, so I would pick it up from there and I would just handle the insurance for them. So that's how I became a commercial lines, um, a commercial lines agency. Um, so again, as I was talking to them, it was just easier for me to, you know, get the other ones on board. So I was like, hey, this is working for me. I might as well stick with it. So. Yeah, it just kept, you felt like, yeah, it just kept, kept kind of stair-stepping. It's like, you, exactly. you thought you were going to do it some home and auto. And it was like, exactly. Right, you know, right. Exactly. Yeah. No, no. I mean, that's awesome, though, because, you know, what, what I find is that, you know, many agencies, particularly independent agencies, you know, they kind of start on that personal line and kind of expand into commercial lines so you know for you to be able to jump directly in the into the commercial lines realm was, is very impressive you know yeah. and uh you know businesses you know they you know they they, they say you know it's like the business those business premiums they're going to be yeah. different yeah <laughs> they're going to be a little different exactly know? and there's a, little, <laughs> there's a little more wiggle room in there with them right. <laughs> You know, you know, so they say they're going to hit different. They're going to hit yeah. different. 